Moving on to my next play. Okay, this is a team that did great for me last week, and I'm riding them again here. That's going to be Washington, minus 20 at Arizona. We all know Washington has arguably the best quarterback in the country, and they put up a ton of points. Penix is a monster, okay? Averaging 409 yards passing per game, 74.6% completion percentage, 16 touchdowns to only two interceptions. He leads the nation in passing yards. Over their last eight games, they are 7-1 and one against the spread. On the flip side, Arizona just barely beat Stanford 21-20. to 20. They did not cover that game. Talk about some injuries that Arizona is also dealing with. Quarterback Jaden Delora went down with a calf injury. He's questionable. I heard from an inside source, Nate, that he is not playing. Fairly reliable oh. source. Take that for what it's worth, but I don't believe he's going to be playing. Running back Michael Wiley is also questionable. So you're talking about their starting quarterback and a key player in their running back most likely not playing. I see Arizona really struggling defensively. They have zero picks on the season. They have not picked off a quarterback one time all season, and now they're going against arguably the best quarterback in the country. The only concern would be just kind of a letdown spot for Washington if they think they're just going to take this game lightly. Um, I don't really see that. You know, they – they covered against Cal in their last game. Cal scored a few touchdowns late against them, and they still covered. But I, I kind of like the fact that Cal put up a few points on them. I think it gives them, you know, when they go back the next day and film study and gives the coaches something to critique the team on, hey, guys, look, you know, this is unacceptable. We gave up these big plays here at the end. We can't be doing that. And at least kind of holds them accountable um, going into this next game where they'll be obviously heavily favored and, and hopefully they don't take this team lightly. But that's my next play, Nate. Washington minus 20 at Arizona. What's your breakdown on this? Uh, you said it. Penix is, you know, top of the Heisman right now. Him, Caleb Williams. Uh, Penix and that Washington offense are balling. Um, the only thing – Devil's advocate is it's a huge letdown spot for Washington here. They got Oregon next week. Could be overlooking this Arizona team. Um, big, big game Oregon at Washington next week. So uh, could be kind of a little look ahead spot here. Um, that's kind of, that's the only thing I can see, but uh, you know, that Washington offense, I definitely, well, if I have to pick on this game, I would pick Washington. I don't want to be on, on Arizona State, especially after they played above above what they can versus USC last week, hanging in there tight. Um, you know, uh, I I would lean Washington, but just be kind of careful in college. You do get those little letdown games where sometimes you um, you just think this big this team should smash, and all of a sudden they come out lazy. They're thinking about next week. They probably prepped some of this week for that Oregon game next week um so you know, yeah i'm with of, you again i'm hoping that. that the fact they gave a few scores to cal late in the game will kind of wake up their defense i'm not worried about them offensively they're going to pass where yeah, they're going to put up 40 they're going to put up 40 for sure so i think it's just a matter of that defense tightening up and i think they uh hopefully cover that so good deal moving on here to uh 